Okay, as you can see, I've opened this other tape. It's quite large. What is it? Oh, is it a guitar? It looks like a box for a guitar, a musical instrument. Okay, let's put it here. Uh -huh. Oh, 80 power astronomical telescope. Oh, that's a Gilbert telescope. Oh, that's the very model that I had when I was a kid. Oh. There's a zipper. Oh, that's the beautiful. Ah, that's the original. That's the original telescope. And it's all beauty. Let me just open it. Oh, that's beautiful. I love it. It's my very first telescope. Or second telescope. We had a bright and sharp one before this. First thing that I notice is this very safe way of observing by projection the solar uh, image, solar disk, sun disk, and the uh, um, sunspots. That's amazing. That's exactly like the one that I had. This was missing in it. These are all the books. Gilbert Tours presents Science Leads the Way. Oh, it's so exciting. This is the comic strip. <laughs> oh, I love this. Oh, I love that. I spent so much re time reading when I was a kid, these comic strips. And that's a telescope, actually. They're showing how to use it. You can actually use that for image protect projection of a microscope also. Oh, that's interesting. Minerals and everything. Oh, what a time it was. What a time. Oh, look at that telescope. The professor is explaining how to use the telescope. <laughs> Oh, such a gift. That was posh gift. I didn't have this thing when I was a kid, this box and everything. This was a simple tube with a stand. Not even the this other tube was there. Anyway, I was happy. I modified it actually. The end bits of it. <coughs> I'll show you. First of all, I removed this. I had a bright, uh, sharp and bright uh, Japanese telescope, uh, reflector telescope. It was just three centimeter uh, wide uh, mirror it had. But it had a good Huygens eyepiece. This eyepiece is crap, this one and this. And I used that one for this. Mine didn't have even this uh, rack and pinion. This one is lucky it has that. And, <clears throat> and what I did, I put the uh, image stops, the cardboard hole with the hole inside here. And I could see the rings of the Saturn clearly and the uh, belts of the Jupiter, South Equatorial Belt, North Equatorial Belt. Because I even so once I was a co-discoverer of a, a South Equatorial Belt uh, disturbance. And uh, that was exciting because I later learned that that was uh, something real. It was really bright, uh, dark, kind of reddish uh, color, reddish brown color of that South Equatorial Belt by then. And I was really excited about it, but I just didn't write it. I didn't report it anywhere. But then later I read that people have seen it actually, it was real. And now the telescope is here. My favorite lovely telescope is back. I think mine was really good, better than this. Mine had a glass. This is a cellophane, as they call it, acetate.
mine was a uh, actual glass here and the shape of the, um, the edges of this was really better much better no damage or anything I really take good care of it anyway that's the telescope that telescope is 60 years old <laughs> 60 years old more probably <laughs> 70 probably <laughs> There is a notebook with it. It comes with a notebook. And that's the observation of the kid who had it when he was a kid. That's she, <laughs> the, the kid could not see anything better than that. I told you the eyepiece was really bad, but the mirror was excellent. And you just had to change the eyepiece, use a normal Huygens one. Huygens is a simpler design uh, invented by Huygens, Christian Huygens. And uh, let's see. Line of light. Somebody has written here. Let's try to observe something. Crater. Try to make sense. Langrenus. Oh, that's all oh, the keys. That's the Langrenus. Oh, duh. Oh, this I've seen some details. This is ancient. This is ancient. 70 year old notes of a kid. That kid is alive now. Or there he is. Does he know that his telescope is with me now? Oh, that's amazing. This is a museum piece. I bought it so cheap. I didn't pay more than 15 pounds for this. <laughs> the carriage was more than that. <laughs> the carriage was around, I think. I bought it 13 pounds. The carriage was 15 pounds or something. That's amazing. Who knows? Probably Neil Armstrong. Or the kid of Neil Armstrong drew this. Or who? No Tim Peak probably or the Tim Peaks of America. Sally Wright could have written this. Doc, what's that doc feature? This is the C of a uh, uh, theorist and that is Langrenus. So oh he was uh, uh, observing the meridian. That line is meridian. And what is that dog? I have to find it. Stu, Jeff, Rusko, all these names. Eight, one eighth full. Oh, that's a crescent. Yeah, that's a crescent. Very thin crescent. Oh, that's amazing. That's amazing. It's like the finding something that Galileo has produced. <laughs> oh, that's so sweet. There's another thing here inside. Written instruction. Hmm. Okay, I must say that I have another copy of this. I had one when I was a kid that's gone. I don't know where it is. I hope that my nephews are using it. <laughs> and um, I lost the tripod of it when I was uh, big, big enough to take it around with the bus and other things. But uh, the other kids who were with me, they just threw it at the one bus stop and that's, we lost the stand of it. It was tripod. I had the tube and everything else, but the tripod was not there. And uh, I have another one of this. This is the most complete version. This copy I bought is the most complete version. Probably to protect the, the sun viewing screen. But the rest of it is history. That is screws, that is stands. I think one of the screws is here. I wonder where is the other screw? Oh, the one here. Oh, for a moment I thought this is incomplete, but now I have the all the screws. Okay, this one also goes here. And how it is, this stand, the, those tripods, they have a notch on top of them. The notch goes here between this uh, and the screw itself. So, uh, the notch goes here, then you tighten it with this. 
and it makes it really tough. But what I did uh, after that, uh, this this is rubbish. Uh, you can remove this. It's not very good. Uh, what I did, <coughs> uh, I attached a weight here. Uh, uh, I worked in a later when I was a little bit grown up. I just, just want to earn some money. I worked in a machine tool uh, workshop, and I made a cylinder and then made a hole in drilled the hole in it and tapped it and with that tap the screw correct this screw could actually go inside it. It was really sturdy and without that I don't think that was very sturdy. You could not really do anything. But this is really sturdy so oh this is the most complete version I've ever seen of this. Even that no <laughs> observation notice there. <laughs> oh I love this so sweet. Okay, let's have a look in the mirror. Secondary looks alright. But the primary mirror I think needs recoating. The one I had, I opened it and you will suppose it has a proper mirror shell. And uh, I was able to actually uh, Clean it and then record it. It looks like fungus on it. We'll see. Now I try to clean it. I have another one. I can just install that one. I'll just hold, put the tube of that one and this one. But anyway, this is original. I don't want to change it. 